Welcome back to another video, Pokey Exode here, and today I'm going to be opening up two Elite Trainer Boxes of Fusion Strike. Again, we're going to be trying to get that all or Gengar, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, we got our packs here. I uh, just had to check, I had to do a little check, just to make sure that neither of the boxes were resealed. Because um, if you haven't checked out my other video from last week, uh, I ended up actually having a box that was more than likely resealed um, you know basic tell is you know lifting up the flap it, you know both sides are down um, you know it's a good sign not to say that you know people can't just glue it but uh, basically if you were to lift this up on the packs that were in one of the boxes you know one of the sides were just up so it, and all the what is it I, every single code card was white border um, and well actually that's not right every it, basically black border code cards didn't have hollows so that's kind of how I knew <laughs> so but enough of that you know if you want to check that out uh, you know you can go ahead um, but with this we're gonna be starting with our first pack of fusion strike so let's see what we have here starting off with a white border code card all right let's go ahead and get through it here all right nothing so let's see we got our second pack here really trying to get that Gengar um, I've opened probably not as much fusion strike um, but I really do would like the Gengar alt art. Uh, Gengar was, you know, one of my favorites playing uh, playing uh, for the Pokemon games when I was younger. So getting that card would be pretty cool. So let's see. So far, no luck. Feel like we're only be able to like get maybe like one or two pulls from one of the ETBs, and then maybe like one or two pulls from the other ETB. So we'll just see how how this goes. So far, we have not had a single black border code card. Okay, here we are. First one actually. Speaking of the devil. So we're gonna go ahead and do our card trick for this one. Um, unfortunately, I think I kind of peaked a little bit, and I don't think we're gonna get a hit. But if we do, I'll be happy. Well, we got a hit, but it's a Lucario V. So, you know, it is a hit, but it's not the greatest hit. But I'll still take it. So, at least we got one hit so far. Very nice. We still got three packs to open for one of the ETBs. All right, opening up right to another Black Border code card. Very nice. Uh oh, this better not be anything good because there's some damage there. If this is the Gengar alt art, I'll probably be sad considering that I know the condition of the final card. Okay, it's just a Swampert. N nothing bad about Swampert, but it's, it's not a, you know, Swamp Swampert isn't one of those big hitters in that set, in the set, so, unfortunately, it does not matter. Alright, we just got, let's see, I don't even think there's any, like, trainer galleries in here, so I don't think there's gonna be anything if it is a white border code card. But if this isn't a black border, then all we have, all right, I guess all we have is just one hit so far from one box. Uh, I do remember ETBs. ETBs have always been kind of hard uh, just because of the limited amount of packs. Uh, people people say that it's random, but I, uh, for me, I just feel like with ETBs, you're only guaranteed maybe like two, uh, two, maybe three, um, probably more likely than one. Um, so 
that's just my experience however we did just get another hit we got chandelier v max all right we're moving up from the uh the v cards and going to v maxes so not to step in the right direction i believe gengar all art is a v max so let's try to hit that one instead <laughs> so let's see Another black border. Okay, so far things are looking pretty good. As long as this isn't a hollow, I think I'll be good. Alright, come on. Give me something good. And we get a Deoxys. Really cool. But, unfortunately, nothing of uh, value there, unfortunately. Okay, another black border code card. Man, it's like all the all these code cards went from one of the boxes to the other. So far, I've only I think I've only hit like maybe one so far for white border. But let's see what we get. And of course, we get a Dodrio V. Very nice. I think the only thing that I I don't think I've ever opened a booster box of Fusion Strike. I did open in a sorted lot, um, but it was a pretty much a predetermined kind of like self-sealed packs so you were guaranteed like one good card but all the others were like V's and um, everything else was like nothing so after learning what those assorted uh, sorted packs were I was just like nah I'm never gonna do that again so Always take the booster box because you never know what it means for an assorted list of packs, even if it's from a trusted source. Because um, even if it's a little bit cheaper and they tell you that you can get good hits, that means that they've done something to it and it's likely you only get one good hit and the rest are kind of eh. So. I mean, unless you want to gamble and try to risk that, you know, you know, take that risk of the one good card being the card that you would want. But I'll probably never do that again. <laughs> so we are coming down to our final packs here. In fact, we're actually on our last pack here. So let's go ahead and get some of that last pack magic and see what we can pull ah uh, of course and it is always a white border code card on the very last one every single time no matter what all right let's see what we get and lander is reverse and a Santa scorch non hollow okay well you know what I don't think it's too bad but unfortunately we didn't get any other hits or any hits that I would have preferred um, but you know with that all said and done that's gonna have to conclude today's video um, so you know if you guys liked be sure to smash the like button comment down below and also subscribe for more content in the future I will say just kind of as a heads up if I will be making some pretty i'd be making some videos on some pretty older stuff so you know if you want to check some of that out um you know just stay tuned uh for the future um you know either by subscribing and turning on notifications or you know if you just want to check back in you know after some time that's fine as well um but just want to kind of put that out there that there will be content coming in the next couple months that I think uh, think you guys will enjoy so with all that said um, that'll be it from me and I will see you guys in the next one